so hello friends welcome to my channel ma coaching center so today i'm going to explain about eight standard geography four chapter agriculture so group breathe let us come start with an example so group breathe madho and tina they were three person three uh, were there they were walking through their village where they saw a farmer farmer who, were, who was tiling tilling his land the farmer told them that he was growing wheat and had just added some of the manure to the soil and so that he can to may he can make the soil more fertile he told them the children that the wheat would fetch a good price in the mandi from where it would be taken to the factory and from there it would be become bread or biscuit from this wheat flour so this transformation from a plant to a finished product it involves three types of economic activities one is the we say it as primary activity first one second one is the secondary activity and third one is the territory activity so primary activity it includes all those connected with extraction production of natural resource, extraction production of natural resources like agriculture fishing and gatherings or lay there or like good example for primary activities secondary activities is concerned with the process of these resources so doing processing of these resources like by extracting some steel metals by extracting metals in secondary activities in primary activities extracting metal in secondary activity making a steel from it or in first activity sorry in primary activity making ex producing the uh, wheat and making the wheat flour in the second activity and making the bread or uh, baking of bread in the second activity it is the um, in the secondary activity next is territory activity it provides us support to the primary and secondary activities it provides supports like if you produce or manufacture of steel baking of bread doing transportation of it or making trade of it insurance any other thing comes under territory activity so as agriculture comes in primary activity you should know what it is and how it happens so agriculture it includes like growing of crops like fruit crops like fruits vegetables flowers and rearing of livestock in whole world 50% of people are doing agriculture and two third of indian population is still dependent on agriculture and they are still doing the agriculture and favorable topography of soil and climate are vital for agriculture so for agricultural activity climate and the topography soil plays a very most important thing very big purpose it plays the land on which the crop are grown is known as the arable land arable land means the land in which crop is grown so in example in figure 4.1 in the map you can see the agricultural activities concentrated in those region of the world that is suitable factor uh, the very suitable factors for growing of crop exist see here you can see where where uh, so the food in here in the picture you can see where in the places or oh, see here. in the green color you can see the land where the plants crops are grown next first do you know agriculture means the sign agriculture means the science and art of cultivation on the soil means raising the crops and rearing livestock so this art of growing the crop or so raising the crop on the soil is called as farming next sericulture means commercial rearing of silkworm so commercial rearing of silkworm uh, 
it may supplement the income of the farmers because a silk worm gives the silk so by with the selling of that silk the farmer can get the more money next pisky culture means breeding of fish in specially constructed tanks and ponds so breeding the fish in specially made constructed tanks and ponds so that we can eat the fish or we can they can sell the fish next duty culture is cultivation of gra- grapes cul- means cultivating the grapes is called as the viticulture horticulture means growing vegetable flower fruits for our commercial use for commercial use is known as horticulture these are the different types uh, you will learn you learned next farm system so agriculture or farming can be it is like a system the important inputs the important things in this is seeds fertilizer machinery and labor they are some of the important inputs and some of the operations that are involved in the farming is like plowing next sowing next irrigation next weeding and harvesting and the outputs from the system they are the crops wool dairy and poultry products like see uh, outputs means physical input will be human inputs like storage you want to store the for grains what you want to put next you want labor for work next you want machinery chemicals to protect it from the insects and sunshine rainfall temperature soil slope these all things the farmer should should be aware so that to grow very good crops next output or output of the crops and the process and inputs he will do is the machinery seeds chemical these are the in the 4.2 you can see the picture of an arable farm here in the human farm inputs physical and human farm input so there are different types of farming you have to know so farming is practiced in various way in the different ways in across the world depending upon how varied how is the geographical condition and how is the demand of product there and how labor we will get or not and how is their technology there so farming they are classified into two main types they are classified one is subsistence one is subsistence farming and another is the commercial farming subsistence farming this type of farming is practiced to meet the needs of the farmers family so this type of farming is practiced for fulfilling the needs that are need for the farmers family traditionally low level of technology and household labor or low level of technology and household labor are used as small output in this and in subsistence farming it can be classified into two types intensive subsistence and primitive subsistence farming now in the intensive subsistence agriculture the farmers they cultivates a small plot of land they cultivate a small plot of land using some tools and some labors they use for cultivation climate with large number of days if the climate have large number of days with sunshine and fertile soil this helps more and more growth of the crops and increase the annual income in the same plot so rice is the main crop that is grown in the whole world and in whole india many other crops are grown like wheat maize pulse and oil seeds so rice is main crop because you know every day you eat rice any product made by the rice any food any things made by the rice so intensive agriculture is prevalent in the thickly populated areas and monsoon region of south southeast and east asia you can see this intensive subsistence farming or agriculture next organic farming
so organic farming in this type of farming organic manure and natural pesticides they are all used instead of any chemicals they don't use any chemical fertilizers they use organic no genetic modification is done so that to increase uh, the yield of crop means getting more uh, crops or getting more crops no any changes are done in that organic farming next primitive subsistence agriculture it includes seed shifting of cultivation and nomadic herding means a sh a shift in that shifting in the primitive subsistence what is shifting of cultivation so shifting of cultivation is practiced in the thickly forested areas in amazon basin tropical africa parts of south asia so as the there are the areas where you can see the heavy rainfall and quick regeneration of the vegetation a plot of land is cleared by cutting some of the tree by cutting the trees or burning the trees and the ashes uh, that uh, we got from by cutting or burning the trees the ashes by burning the trees what we got the ashes then they will mix with the uh, mix it with the soil and they grow crops like maize yam potatoes and cassava these crops are grown and after soil loses their fertility after the growth of this crop when soil loses its fertility the land is abundant and the cultivator and the cultivator goes forward for cultivation and shifting cultivation it is also known as slash and burn agriculture next is nomadic herding so nomadic herding is practiced in the semi arid and arid region in sahara central asia and in some parts of india uh, like rajasthan and jammu and kashmir and in these types of farming you can see herdsmen the person move from place to place with their animals for food uh, for the food and water and along with the defined routes along with the known routes they move and this type of movement it uh, comes when in response of in on the response to climatic constraints and terrains sheep camel yak and goats they are most commonly raised animals by the people and they provide milk meat wool hides and many other products to their families next after the this after the subsistence farming next is the commercial farming in commercial farming the crops are grown and animals are raised for sales for the sale of crops and uh, for sales of animal in the market the area cultivated and the amount of capital used for uh, cultivation of the area is very much huge and most of the work is done by the machine in this commercial farming commercial farming includes some of the commercial grain farming mixed farming and it also includes plantation agriculture in commercial grain uh, farming crops are grown for some of the commercial purposes the farming crops like wheat and maize they are most commonly commercial grown grains and major areas where commercial grain farming is very much practiced and you can see uh, in the temperate grasslands in the north america europe and in asia you can see this commercial farming practice and these areas are sparsely these and the areas where the commercial farming are happening they are very much populated with a large farms spreading over hundred of hectares farming in 100 of hectares and they serve winter restrict the growing season and only single crop can be grown in this in the commercial farming so after in the commercial farming in mixed farming you now let us learn about the mixed farming in mixed farming the land is used for growing some of the food and fodder crops fodder crops and for uh, some of the rearing livestock also so it is this 
mixed farming it is practiced in some of the european countries and in eastern usa argentina south australia new zealand and uh, in south africa in these places you can see this uh, mixed farming happening so next is plantation 